Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Hit Me With Your Best Shot. Last week, we talked about Hit Me With An Item Of Clothing. That was our challenge for this week. So as we get into this today, we're going to talk about what worked, what didn't work, who won. Hint, it wasn't me. Uh, but we'll talk about which photo and uh, what made it so great. So stay tuned, and let's get into it. All right, all right, all right. Come on and snap to it. Cameras on subject. Well lit that photo challenge for top spot. It's hit me with your best shot. We got Kazoto photo talking shot bell. Framing shots with that Brett T guy. Camera tricks is what makes them click. So switch F stop and listen. This camera tricks is what makes them click. So switch F stop and listen. In. Brett, what this. is going on? How was your week? Or I guess it's been two weeks, really. It's been two weeks. Uh, it's been great. Uh, the challenge was fun. Had a lot of great ideas. Um, but I, I got to step back a little bit. That intro, uh, Sean Valley, uh, link below. Uh, fantastic. Uh, absolutely fantastic. And little known fact, uh, the guy who wrote the lyrics for this is none other than Kazoto <laughs> Photo, Anthony. <laughs> Great job. I mean, uh, seriously. You know, fantastic. I, can, I, I can write a uh, cheesy rhyme, but it would have sounded cheesy like a kid's song if it weren't for Sean. So hey. he absolutely killed it. Uh, I'm thrilled with the way that yeah. came out. Yep. And uh, I mean, we're going to say I wrote the lyrics. He absolutely transformed it and uh, added a couple things here and there and made it what it was. But uh, yeah. thank you. Uh, thank yep. you to Sean. Uh, like, uh, Brett Thank said, you, Sean. We're yeah. going to link his info below. You saw it on the screen right after the intro and uh, check him out. He does have a new song dropping this Friday. Uh, so go and enjoy that because yep. he rocks it. You'll be listening to him all day. All right. Anyway, so let's get into this challenge. What did you think? What were your thoughts when you saw an item of clothing? Oh, I had, I had so many ideas with this one. Um, and yes, we ended up extending the time. We'll discuss that a little bit more later. Um, we did go to a two week format. Um, but I had, like I said, I had so many ideas. Um, I ended up getting busy. And so a couple of them I was not able to do. I didn't have the lighting that I wanted to do. Um, there was one that my son and I did when I was, uh, taking lessons on, uh, New York Institute of Photography, which was years and years and years ago. Um, where I took two speed lights and I held the speed lights in my hand and I had a hoodie and I put the hoodie over my head. So you really couldn't see anything. And I fired these things, these speed lights. And all you see is my arms and the bright light from, from them. And then like a, like a, a silhouette a shadow. It, okay. yeah, it was just really cool. And I wanted to recreate that one. Obviously we have to do new photos. So, and the ones right. that I did weren't all that great. So I, I was really looking forward to doing it again and I never got to it. So, okay. I mean, Hey, it, that for sure yep. happens. Uh, I think I was uh, a little on the flip side of the timeline here. <laughs> uh, I, I was rushing to get things done that first week. And then mm -hmm. you reached out and said, yep. Hey, can we push this? And I said, sure. Yep. And life, then life gets in the way a little bit, but absolutely. Hey, and hey, it like, ends up working out. So it, it, yep. it did. Um, so I, uh, the, the, one of the photos I did submit was, uh, one of the ones that I had from week two. Uh, so I was in, I ended up being happy with it. Um, but I, I, when Brett said, we're going to talk a little bit about the change in timeline, um, because we want this to be more inclusive for all of you. Absolutely. Uh, and uh, we want to make sure that we're producing the best quality that we can to show you and uh, yep. show you what we did. So um, we'll get into the specific rules here yep. in a couple minutes. Um, but yeah, I thought it was a fun challenge. My initial reaction was do like pro product photography. Um, mm -hmm. But I also wanted to make sure it was something cool. Um, so I didn't want to just lay a shirt out or anything like that. So uh, it actually coincided well with a shoot I did for a local barbershop and uh, one of his shirts. So uh, if you check out my Instagram today, actually, I posted, you know, my B-roll shot. And uh, it was one of the things I used for him for an advertisement. So there you go. Uh, I actually really liked that one, but I wanted to change it up a little bit for the contest. So I ended up doing the uh, the boots one. Which, 
uh, I it liked her a lot good too. Yeah, I, I really like that one, and I have a very funny story about that one, and why uh, uh, I think my neighbor's a little scared of me now. Well, you had texted me, and you said that you had a funny story about it. So, we'll so, get into so, that. so we were talking back and forth, and, and I had told you I'm 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 def definitely going to do something. I, w I was reaching. I wanted to do mm -hmm. something a little weird, just something different. Um, and and I I think I succeeded. Um, I'd say so. I, there, there was a couple. There was a couple more photos that that I wanted to try. That was going to be even more kind of far fetched, but I did not find the scary backdrop that I wanted. Uh, okay. Yeah, we'll talk about that more. But it was, <laughs> I, I, I really, I, I really liked the challenge. I thought it was fun. It definitely stretched the mind yet again. Um, yeah. But yeah, I had I agree to think about that. the lighting, and that's 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 an important thing where you you've got to stop, you've got to think about how you're doing the lighting to make this work. Um, it's, when when you do a an, an item that isn't moving, a lot of things may seem easy, mm -hmm. but they're not necessarily easy. They're just it's just vastly different. So sure. it's great. It was a great yeah, challenge. And, and I think that's one of the fun things about this one. So like you said, th these are inanimate objects. They're not going mm -hmm. anywhere. Uh, I mean, unless you were taking photos of somebody wearing clothes, which, you know, that's fine too. Been. But yeah, you can absolutely be in a uh, controlled environment. If yep. you have a studio and have all the lights and all of that, yeah, it, it's still challenging. You still have mm -hmm. to play around with where things are and how it works and how the lights interacting. If you're doing it out in the wild, I mean, lights changing all the time. Mm -hmm. the, the item might stay where it is, but your lights changing, clouds are moving in, uh, you know, wind, all of these different things are a factor. And it's not as easy as it might yep. seem, uh, especially when, you know, we're trying to do something cool for everybody so that we have something fun to talk about and not just here's well, a shirt on ourselves. the ground. Yeah. Right. And, and, and to definitely try to push ourselves and, and, and do something different. So absolutely. So <clears throat> with that being said, let's get into the photos. Let's show off photo number one, which the winning photo is that would be Brett's shot here. So this was Brett's winning photo. These shoes are lit. So I love this. The minute I saw it, I knew I was doomed. So uh, see, see, well, we and I, we you and I, have had that con uh, conversation as well. All right, so this this photo was fun. Um, I had a lot of ideas. Um, I've got an LED light that I use for my backlighting here. I thought about using that. I tried it. It actually just filled the frame with way too much light, no matter what I did. Um, so actually, I used a flashlight, an LED flashlight for this, um, which I really liked how it. Um, basically did the stutter uh, where you can see the, the, the light as it's moving. Yeah. But the interesting thing about this photo, um, so it's a long exposure. Um, it was roughly about eight seconds. Okay. And the only way that I could get the shoe lit. So if I just did it with the, with the um, uh, flashlight, um, everything was red. The, the shoes were, were red. Sure. So I, I ended up putting this in manual mode. I grabbed a, um, a Canon flash and I put that in manual mode and I absolutely had that at a very low. In fact, it was like one, one twenty eighth in, in manual. Okay. And it popped at the beginning and then I did all the lights in the background. Uh, and it ended up working really, really well. Uh, without that flash. So it's a two part thing and, and it was very difficult to hit the shutter Mm -hmm. wait and then and then go behind it and and do all that stuff um but it was fun uh yeah i i really like this one um the light trails i thought were awesome and like you said i like how you can kind of see the little notches or the stutters in it yep. instead of it just being yep. purely um smooth to, uh, to me, that was that was the part that really, really got me. So I, I did try a the first flashlight I used was just a straight flashlight with a red um, gel, mm -hmm. and, and it just had that just straight line. And to me, it just it was way too much. Um, and when I grabbed the LED and I saw the stutters in it, and I don't know exactly what that is. I think it's just the, it pulses instead of as a straight light. Yeah, um, I think so. And it, it just, boy, I, to me, that that was what 
that's what when I saw that in the in the uh, <laughs> viewfinder, I'm like, oh yeah, I like that. Well, and I, I think it really goes with the shoes too. You know, yep. they're Friday the Thirteenth shoes. Um, I think if this were a product shoot for you know a Nike or an Adidas or, or something, it, it would not like work that. For that. I think having the smoother light would be cool. Mm-hmm. I think for these Friday the Thirteenth with these Vans or Skechers, uh, Vans, yep, Vans. I think it works out perfect. I think it goes well. You've got the red with the red on the shoes. Uh, I mean, yeah, like I said, as soon as I saw this, this was cool. Um, What I would love to see, and I know this one probably took a bunch of uh, attempts. So how how long did this take you? Actually, multiple days. Um, (laughs) And like I said, because I I had, yep, I had tried with the, with the LED light that I use for my backlight. I tried with a regular, uh, regular flashlight with a red, um, gel in front of it. Um, and I knew that those weren't going to work. And in fact, both of those, I had, I had not used the manual flash. Um, and the manual flash on the last day that I had tried this, I'm like, the, just the red light was actually making the shoes almost like a, like a 3d, uh, it, it was just this really weird, um, out of focus kind of look. It was like looking at, like, okay. remember the yeah, old yeah, time yeah. Uh, where you had the glasses and, and, and so things just didn't look quite right. Right, right, uh, right. And right. so I knew I had to, I had to fire a regular light on this. And, and uh, so the third day I finally did that. I, I want to say probably at least a hundred photos. So now do you feel confident in your ability to recreate something like this? I do. I'd love to see how you did this. Uh, I could, yeah. I could easily do that. If we, if and, we and that's just it. So, so this is actually something that anybody can do. You don't right. even need studio lights. Now, granted, the 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 light that I used for the shoes itself made it easier. But I could have just as easily had somebody flick on the light above and then corrected that in post for the uh, uh, the temperature. The low, you know, for the temperature, um, yeah, yeah. that would have worked just fine. Flick the light on, turn it off, and then then do it. I mean, now that might take two people, not just one, but yeah, sure. I think a lot of people would find that cool because that's something anybody can do. You've got a pair of put shoes. Put in the comments you've got if lights. you guys want. If you guys want to see that, put it in yeah. the comments. We'll we'll we'll, uh, we'll so take care of that. Let's show them how it's done. I like it. Yep. Uh, all right. So let's move on from there. So that would be my relaxing boots here. Um, so this is the one that I'm pretty sure I scared the crap out of my neighbor <laughs> on. Um, and I will show a follow-up picture here at the end. Uh, we'll show what happened, but, uh, you know, I didn't have this photo in week one. I had my next photo and, uh, the one that I posted today. And those were the two I was going to submit. And honestly, I got a little bored and, uh, these boots, I probably haven't worn in five years at least, uh, the laces are broken and I forgot I even had them. And I was just digging through my closet for something and saw them. And I went, Oh, those are some fall style boots. And I just bought some wood for my fireplace and said, all right, what can we do here? So I staged it in my living room, looked at it and I went, all right, I think this will work. So I took it outside. Um, fun fact, there's nobody in these boots, socks, or pants. And, and when I first saw this, I'm sitting there going, are, is this somebody's legs? I, I, I honestly believed it was. And then when I saw the corresponding photo, which, which uh, uh, goes along with the story, I'm sure I, I was shocked. So, yeah. so, now, so this, th- what I was trying to do and, uh, you know, not to interrupt, I, no. I just wanted to appeal to that sense of fall. Um, you know, it, it it's, getting to be that time of mm-hmm. uh, year here in the mid Atlantic and you know, the leaves are changing colors. And I thought, all right, what can I do with clothing out in the fall? I saw these boots and I thought, all right, we've got some cool Brown colors. We've got the yellow laces. Let's go find some Brown and yellow leaves, stack them on the wood. And you know, I, I really liked it as far as a feeling. I wish I had an ax instead of this poker, but I figured, you know, we can at least make it feel like we're near a fire. Yep. Uh, we've got the leaf with a little bit of a burn on it. Um, so this, this definitely resonated with the audience. Uh, they, the, a lot of comments of, about the fall vibes with this just resonated with them. They, they really, really liked that fall. It, it, it just went with that. And in fact, looking at the photo, I'm, I'm, I'm looking for marshmallows and, 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 uh, right. <laughs> a little PSL, a little pumpkin right? spice it, latte. It, yeah, something. Well, 
I don't know about the pumpkin spice latte, but hey, well, I'll we get, don't wanna... I'll, I'm gonna get roasted on that one. We, 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 <laughs> <laughs> we're trying to appeal to everyone, even the yep. basics. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> and 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 just the comments. I mean, obviously, it hit really well uh, with I was exactly with the theme that you were going for was was exactly what they grabbed onto. Um, and, yeah, and, and, gave, it, and, and gave my photo a run for the money. In fact, we were we were going back and forth on that. It was so. neck and neck for a while. Yep. Um, yeah. So, again, it wasn't a hard photo to uh, stage. It was more of just getting everything to align properly. And at the end, like I said, I'll, I'll show you the what was going on and what happened with my neighbor here. But uh, it was a fun photo. Yeah. You know, it, I enjoyed it. It's, uh, again, one of those things. You have to get the lighting right. You have to get the colors right. So, it takes a little time to make sure you're in the right spot. So I had to move this around a little bit. This, this is another one of those where I, I feel that the, the uh, color and, and the editing that you did on this is top notch. It just fits with the photo. Uh, it, it's just got that look and feel. So Thank it's you. perfect. Yep. Yeah. Fun fact, the, the red leaves, they, they weren't actually red. Let's see. Now that's something else that, that uh, it, it is a trick of the trade. So, they were a looks, little red. They weren't look, a lot red. Looks really good. Uh, this was actually my favorite photo. Uh, so uh, you know, not of uh, all of ours, because I, I knew your first one was top notch. This was my favorite of mine. So this one we dubbed off the clock. Um, and By the way, I, I liked all the names that, that we had for for this week. I did I too. Think that, I, think that, I think they were good. Yeah, I think uh, I think we need to pay more attention to that instead of uh, the the first week or two. And again, stick with us, everybody. We're trying to get hey, a hang of this we're, show. We're getting there. We're getting there. <laughs> we're figuring it out. Uh, that As first we week, go. we posted them all, and we we're like, "Oh shit, what are these called?" <laughs> uh, so, well, that's uh, all right. What was it? The second or third week where I ended up putting the winner before we even did the show. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, you did. Well, <laughs> <laughs> that's probably why viewership was a little low. Oh, good anyway, times. so this one was off the clock. And uh, <laughs> again, I, I felt like all of my photos that I did this week, all the plans I had kind of were more of an appeal to emotion mm -hmm. uh, rather than just taking a technically good photo. Um, so we talked about that a little bit last week of trying to tell a story a little bit. Yeah. Uh, so uh, I was walking down my hallway and I happen to just walk past the bathroom and none of this was present at the time. Um, and I just paused for a second and thought, huh, you know, we've got a tub there. We've got this open door. So everything's kind of framed nicely. And what's a appeal to emotion here? So I thought, all right, somebody sitting in the tub with a glass of wine, relaxing after a hard mm -hmm. day of work or a hard week of work. And then I thought that through and I said, all right, well, how about we hang a bra from there? So it's like, oh man, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm done for the day or yep. I'm done for the week. I'm going to relax. And, uh, I felt like this one appealed to a bunch of people. I actually got a lot of private messages of people saying, oh, I feel this. <laughs> and I was like, I do too. And I don't even yep. wear a bra, yep. you know, most days, but, um, <laughs> I, I, I liked it in black and white too, much more than color. Uh, I felt like it gave a, a bigger sense of that emotion there. This was probably also one of my favorites. I, I really thought that this was going to, I, I really thought that this was going to be the one when I first saw this one, I'm like, this, this is, this is going to kill it. So <laughs> I, I think it worked to a certain extent. It did. Um, yeah. I mean, I, I think uh, I really liked it. I know you really liked it. I know mm -hmm. some other people really liked it. Didn't do as great in the voting. That's okay. Mm -hmm. um, and that goes to one of the little side motivational points. So here's Anthony's motivation for today. Uh, when you're doing photography, uh, art, whatever it is, do it for yourself. Absolutely. You know, I, I, I think we all get pretty tied up in doing it for the gram. Yeah, hashtag do it for the gram. Um, or whatever social media it is. And sometimes we start to produce art for yep. other people instead of for ourselves. Uh, do it for yourself. Um, that's all I can say. Somebody's going to like it. We all know that people all over the world like different things. They'll find you. If Absolutely. If, if, you know, it appeals to them. So 
you're not the only one who likes what you like. So do what you want for you and go with it. Uh, I really like this one. I'm super happy with it. I don't really care that it didn't get. And that's, (laughs) and that's how you find your style, right? That's, that's how you, as long as you're shooting and you, you do what you like, it it doesn't matter whether you get 800 votes on, on Instagram. If you like the photo and it gets five, continue to shoot that way they're they're going to find you they're going to the the yeah. ones that are going to to like the same thing that you do are going to resonate and they're and they're going to reach out to you yeah i agree and and, and, and that goes for photo number 4 because i really had a lot of fun with this last photo and and and, and we shot this in multiple locations um the the one actually that worked the best um, was way too grainy for me to keep. It was when it was coming down the stairs. Okay, um, I should put that on Instagram. I'll put that out there. I want to um, I want to see that because I it, I think the graininess could be cool. Yeah, the, it was just it. I I don't know. Um, we didn't have anything in the background. If we would have had some scary stuff in the background, I think this would have been better and had the shirt flown a little more. You know vertical so uh, but we had a lot of fun with this this is this is just one of those things that i knew what i wanted i knew how i wanted to see it um and i couldn't quite get it there but the more i did it the more i learned from this uh how to get the flash to fire the win and and, and how i wanted it um and let me tell you making sure that you throw it exactly where you're focusing that that's another thing so um, so this so this shot you're just throwing this up and down um, so, so it was split. It was, it was either my wife was throwing, um, or I threw, um, be, be, it, it, we had to do it so many times. Um, <laughs> and I, it, at night I couldn't really see. So she was out sure. there helping, helping me. Um, and what you can't see is there's a hanger upside down in this, uh, shirt to keep to, it open, to, to keep it open a little bit. Um, I like that. I, I was actually curious if you just threw this until it, flapped open like that. well so so it still wanted to fold and and do stuff and and that was just it we kept throwing it until we got the arms where we wanted it and and uh um this just happened to be a little sideways but the arms were exactly how i wanted it and i ran with it so yeah i i like this one i uh you know my fiance and i always talk about the the shots once we both release them mm-hmm. um and she, she said, how'd he do that? I said, I think he was just throwing it up and down, but he could have had it on wires and edited yep. them out. And, you know, I, I was genuinely curious about this. So, uh, so this was done at night, obviously done right? at night. Yep. with a flash. So you could only shoot that at what? One, two hundredth or one, two fiftieth. Uh, it, was, it was one, two fiftieth. And, um, cause I assume you're using a speed light. We're using a speed light and I'm yeah, trying right. to think it was TTL, but I can't, and I had to, I had to I had to open it up quite a bit. I had to really get it bright. Um so it was plus 2, I believe. Right. Um so and- I mean, it, it, that's all what I'm impressed with is at 1 to 50th for shutter speed, which is fairly fast mm-hmm. that there's no blur to this. It's yep. crystal yep. clear like somebody was standing there holding this yep. and you just shot it. Uh because so for anybody who doesn't know, that's probably about the fastest you can sync a it's external the fastest, flash. That's the fastest um, you can do it. So getting it this crisp, that's awesome. And I imagine you had to have that aperture wide open to it was. Uh, let enough light in. And, and for anybody who doesn't know what aperture is, uh, the link will be up here, up here. It's somewhere we go. around my head. It's a great video. Um, go check it out. To a video I did last week on aperture. So tune into that. Uh, all right, back to our regularly scheduled program here. Uh, so you had that wide open to let enough light yep. in cause it's nighttime. Yep. Uh, that's awesome. A lot of fun. Um, like I said, I, we, we tried it in multiple, did multiple both of you places. Have a lot of fun or just, uh, you? I probably just me. Um, <laughs> She was when when we were doing it down the stairs. That was fun, but when I had to get her outside and it was cold, and and, and uh, she was like, "No, I'm I'm done. I want to go in and watch TV." I'm like, "Just just just a couple more. Come on." And actually, this ended up when I saw this one in the in the in the um, LCD. I knew that this was the one. This was probably the last photo I took. Okay. So, yeah. Well, that's uh that's a good way to end it, right? Yep. Yeah. 
So oh, that's that's funny. Yeah. And, so and, and and while it did not do very well in the voting, it was probably the funnest one that I had uh, shooting. Um, just there was a little bit of frustration to it, you know, because sure. you had to get it. You had to get it just right. But I, I'm sure the neighbors were like, "What the hell is going on?" <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. You know, so we're we're both messing with our neighbors on yep. uh, these photos. Yep. So I really liked it. Uh, we both thought this was going to do a lot better. Um, for whatever reason, it didn't, and nope. uh, that's okay. I think and, it's awesome, and, and that's that's exactly the point you were making. Uh, hey, shoot, shoot what you like, and, and and everything will work out. So, so yeah, I, I mean, I'd like to see uh, some shots from the viewership of something like this one, yeah. something like your shoe one. Let's see what they've got. Uh, I want to see a video from you on the shoe one specifically yeah. and how you did it, because I think that's going to be a fun one. Yeah. Um, and once I see how you did it, I'm going to uh, take Attempt a crack it. at there it. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, so anyway, real quick story uh, before we get into uh, the next part of the show here. Uh, I said before when I did my relaxing boot shot that I scared my neighbor a little bit. So a uh, little background here. Uh, I live in an apartment uh, that's really kind of, uh, it's houses built into apartments. So it's not a big apartment building where there's a hundred units. It's four units to a building and, you know, lined up a street like houses. Uh, so it's a really nice neighborhood. Uh, we're lucky we had it, uh, but we have a new neighbor who just moved in uh, right across from us. So uh, she doesn't really know who I am or what I do um, or why I would be doing anything outside with uh, clothing. Uh, and I'm out there and I'm setting everything up and uh, my dog barks and I hear, a, a, you know, the shutters real quick. And I look over and I see head peek out real fast, shutters pull <laughs> shut real quick and the door slam. And I imagine it's because she saw this occurring outside <laughs> 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 so when i said earlier uh you know there's nobody in those boots there's nobody in those boots these are my five-year-old's toy golf clubs shoved into my boots <laughs> with the socks wrapped around them and extra socks pushed in um, get, get one of my shape. dining room chairs <laughs> and then i was carrying a pair of jeans so she was probably like what is going on. She probably thought I murdered somebody and was pro <laughs> trying to, you know, prove, you know, that they were hey, still alive it, it, by it, sending a it, picture of the boots. Like, this, yeah, just this hanging is what out. We do. This is what we do for our art. <laughs> Be patient. So if you see a picture of just these boots on Instagram, or if you get a text, it, you know, it's not me. Somebody's <laughs> faking uh, another body, uh, but oh, that's what happened here. That's okay? hilarious. So that's what happened. Uh, Again, it was a lot of fun. It made it even funnier having yep. <laughs> that happen. So I really enjoyed that. <laughs> and I, uh, I was excited I, to tell that story. I think this week we, uh, for, for this challenge, we ended up having some fun, some, some good yeah. time shooting this time. So it was, yeah, it was, it, it was a lot of fun for sure. Um, so with that being said, we are going to have a new challenge. Uh, before we do that, uh, we're going to hit you with some new rules, yep. really just a new uh, timeline, but we're going to go over the rules again here. So as we said in the beginning, we teased it a little bit. Uh, we're going to give two weeks now for our challenge every time. So uh, we generally record on Tuesdays, post the video by Wednesday. Uh, think about it this way. You have till two Sundays yep. to get your photos in. So that's us. That's you. Uh, so the way it works is we've got this deck of cards right here that we uh, were gifted. Um, you can buy it on Amazon, uh, but you can play along with us, and that's what we'd love for you to do. So every two weeks, we're going to pull a card. We'll put the hashtag for the for the, uh, the link it below for the challenge. We're going to pull a card. That card has some sort of subject matter on it. That is the challenge for the week or two weeks, excuse me. I'm going to have to get used to that. Yep. Uh, the rules are very simple. Otherwise you have to make a new photo. You can submit it on Instagram. You can email us. You can, you know, tag it in the videos, yep. use the hashtag that we post and that's it. 
You know, it'll, it's as it'll, simple as that. It'll be hit me with underscore and the name of the challenge. Whatever the challenge is. Yep. So it's as simple as that. So we're going to get into it here in a second. Uh, I always make three piles and have Brett choose. Uh, usually I tell him left, right, or center. Uh, today I'm going to do top, middle, or bottom because I rearranged how I have my desk set up here. So I did You're not gonna have, throw me. See? I did not have enough room <laughs> to go left, right, or center here. Um, I'm not well, sure I, I can do this now. Well, see, you've done change it on me. Well, I heard brain games were good for aging minds, so oh. I'm trying to help you out here. I love it. We get we got to fit it in every show. <laughs> All right, we're gonna we're gonna try at least once. All are, right, we, so, are we ready? Just so I know it's been a long time. Top, middle, or bottom? <laughs> Let's see what you got. Left, right, center. No. <laughs> top. Let's go uh, top. So this week's challenge is going to be a person holding an item of food. I'm getting better with my camera. That's way more in focus than it's been. There so you a go. person holding an item of food. So we're going to do so hit me with food. Okay. Not literally. <laughs> uh, please. I already have a five-year-old, so I'm always covered in something, something. as it is. Uh, so, all right, a person holding an item of food. So how do you feel about this? Uh, it's going to stretch. It's going to stretch my mind a little bit because I, I don't have any ideas yet. Last, last week's challenge or, or the, uh, the, the previous challenge, uh, before we were even done, my, my mind was going. It was fire, and I already had some ideas. I got nothing. Uh, but we'll, well see. You've got, you got two weeks now, so yep. you have a little more time. Yep. Um, and, again, I think that time frame really helps us out here because we can plan a little bit better. If you need to buy something, you can. Yep. Um, I know I just got a massive amount of Amazon boxes today yeah, along with some other yeah, stuff. Yeah, you did. Uh, and that's just shipment one of three. So Your lighting is really good. <laughs> it's getting it's, better. It's, getting, it's really it's, good. It's getting a lot better. Um, and I'm excited about this, so I'm going to tease something here. Um so I'm a big fan of Peter McKinnon. I know you are too. Mm -hmm. um, and if for some reason the folks watching this don't know who Peter McKinnon is, go ahead, watch. I'll post one of his videos somewhere around here. Um, I think what's I can do up? it multiple. Yeah, what's up, everybody? See, I can't do it. I done knocked my headphones off. <laughs> got to well, keep that got, in. He's got better audio. And he does. So, you know. uh, so Peter, if you're watching, hey, you got fans. Shout out. Anyway, so... He did a video where he was dropping a vintage camera in yep. to, uh, actually, I don't even know if it was vintage. I think it was a, a new product, but into water and doing basically splash photography with it. So I saw this. I'm a big fan. And mm -hmm. I said, can I do that? We're going to find out. So uh, I'm not throwing down the gauntlet. Uh, but I'm going to try to do my best job of outperforming here. Uh, so I have a couple ideas. I bought some extra lights cause I think I'm going to need them. Uh, so we're going to do that. I'm going to record the whole thing and see what we can come up with here. And I think the, uh, the two cameras that you got for this, I think they're going to work really well. Yeah. So, I, so, I, I, so this kind of goes along with kind of the format change of going to every, uh, every two mm -hmm. weeks for the hit me with your best shot, uh, challenge. We're also wanting to incorporate some how to's, some extra, um, some, some other content where even, even him and I can just kind of chat and talk about yeah. things that isn't necessarily a challenge where, where we're competing. Um, we, we kind of are hoping to be able to pass on some knowledge as well. And I think those off weeks are going to be perfect for that, where we can show you some of the stuff that we've learned from this. Um, just, just some knowledge that, that we've had over the years from, from doing photography. Um, yeah, I mean, you've had a lot of years to gain that knowledge. I've had a little bit of time, but you're uh, doing fantastic, though. I mean, uh, I just I stay up late, you know, coffee. Um, yep. uh, you know, we keep that going. But um, yeah, and I think uh, another part of it is we both like doing various different kinds of photography. And, um, you know, I'm very eclectic in what mm -hmm. I do. And we both have our own little projects that we like to do. And if we're kind of adhering to every week, which really is five days, 
doesn't leave a lot of time for our little pet project. Yep. So we're going to expand that time frame a little bit, give ourselves a little bit of space to do some of the fun things. But I think having this channel, that also means that those fun things can show up here. Absolutely. Which I we think can share. is awesome. Right. Yep. So I'm looking forward to some of the stuff you're going to do. Uh, I'm, I know I'm excited for the stuff I'm going to do. I think it's going to be incredibly frustrating. Yep. Uh, so, you know, again, as always, thank you everyone uh, yep. for tuning in. On that note, hit the, hit the like button, subscribe, hit the bell to be notified for when we do create these awesome new videos that we've got coming up. So. Yeah. And, uh, you know, at the end, enjoy uh, the cute little kid telling you the same thing to like and subscribe. And yep. you know, we'll see everybody throughout the week. And in two weeks, we'll see what everybody's got for a person holding, holding an item food. of food. All right. Perfect. See you, everybody. Right, everybody. Thanks. Have see a good you. one. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe.